There's a lot of stuff that can really get in the way of our golf swings if we don't understand how to do things in the right order. And you really have to understand the importance of, of your hands. Okay, it's the only thing that you've got attached to the golf club and, and we can feel stuff through our hands and fingers. You know, you can feel the weight of the club head, which is really, really important. You know, like picking up a hammer, you can feel the weight of the hammer head and then apply what force you need to apply. Our feet, we can feel the ground, you know, moving around and stuff. And, you know, you, you can feel everything through your feet and your hands, right? So they're so important when it comes to the golf swing. But you need to understand a washing machine. It's really, really cool. You know, you look at a washing machine, they're pretty low down, they sit underneath the counter, right? They're there for a reason, they're that low for a reason. I've made a taller one, just to give you an example, but they're really low down. So what they've got is a low center of gravity, which is basically a balance point, right? Because they spin a lot, they've got some rotation going on in there, which is needed to squeeze all the water out. It's like a centrifuge. So they keep them low down, um, and they work efficiently down here, right? They don't wobble around or unless the floor is uneven. Um, they're really efficient and that, that's how they're, they're designed to, to work. Right, let's say we had a taller one, as tall as me, right? This version here with the drum at the top. Okay, we're putting that drum at the top in this, this example. Okay, because this is my center of gravity. This is my balance point. So if I'm chipping, if there's not a lot of force going on, I don't really need to do a lot with my center of gravity. If this thing's just on a slow spin, it's all right, yeah? It's gonna, gonna stay in position, it's gonna work, do what it needs to do, okay? As soon as this thing starts spinning quicker, we're gonna get some problems. So down here, it's gonna start to get a little bit unstable, all right? And when it's doing that, the, the whole, wash cycle will become very inefficient. As it speeds up, guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna become more unstable. The thing's gonna fall over. It's, it's just gonna be really inefficient. Um, your golf swing works the same. So if I keep my center of gravity high, like I do with a chip, then I pull my driver out, and, and make a full driver swing, which is the same as the washing machine on a high spin cycle, lots of force, lots of energy there. I'm gonna be all over the place, right? I'm gonna be losing balance, falling over and compensating to hit that golf ball because I'm not harnessing the force. If this really was how washing machines were designed, what they would have to do as it starts spinning quicker is they would have to regulate the drum. So what, as, as it, spins around faster, this thing would then come down lower, lower, lower. So the faster it spins, the lower down the drum would become. So eventually it would become the same sort of height as this, this washing machine over here. Okay, so the drum, the faster it spins, the lower it needs to go, okay, to make sure it's not wobbling around or losing efficiency. That's probably the best way I can describe it because your golf swing works exactly the same way. What I'm trying to get at is you need to understand this center of gravity and it, it has to lower, has to go low for you to balance out the forces, the massive forces you're gonna create from using the double pendulum concept. You might remember back in 2000, obviously Tiger Woods, he's just such an amazing player to watch, um, you know, obviously winning everything and it was, it was brilliant, brilliant to watch. And it's really funny because um, commentators, you know, they would, you know, give analysis on the, on the swings, wouldn't they? And the one thing that stuck in my head was there was always going on about Tiger's head, how much it was dropping and how it would, they needed to correct it and, you know, keep that, that head from dropping. Because it dropped a hell of a lot, you know, driver swing, you'd see him, as he took it back, it would drop, and then as he transitioned, it would drop even more and come back up, and they really criticized him for that. But luckily they didn't coach him because, you know, you certainly wouldn't have been able to do what he did without that head drop. And if you can understand this here, the, the head dropping was a, more of a natural reaction from him because what he was doing was actually lowering his body and getting down 
so he can then harness the force of the the downswing and maintain balance and be able to put that much power into the swing and use it efficiently that's what was going on so it was actually a good use of um, the mechanics and the forces in his golf swing 